Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you are all doing well. Today for this episode, it is a test night. Oh yes. And what I have here is a very interesting military surplus product that comes from the company Light Fighter. In the past, I purchased one of these tents. I took it out for an overnight trip and it leaked. I repaired the leak. And since that point in time, the company contacted me, offered me a new one, because they believe that their products are more waterproof than what I showed you all. So, let's find out if they are or if they're not. I am going to set this up very quickly, and that's because it is somewhat raining right now. It's not heavy, but yeah, it is raining. When I talked to Light Fighter, they believed that the issues that I had with the tent was related to the fact that I bought it second hand off of eBay. Now, in my opinion, the tent looked brand new, but anything is possible. This is interesting. The pole structure is in fact different than mine. The version that I have may be older, but this has a plastic hub here in the center with the poles connecting outwards. That is in fact different. The overall setup process with this tent is very easy. Every step makes sense. You don't have to look at instructions or anything like that. It sounds like I got this set up in just the nick of time because it is now raining again substantially. I'm going to throw everything inside of the tent and I will see you all in just a little bit. All right, everyone, the testing begins now. Let's see how waterproof the Light Fighter one person tent is. All right, everybody, some time has passed as you can tell since I set the tent up and the rain has stopped. It rained for roughly 30 minutes. It was medium to light rain, just enough to really wet the tent to soak everything. But that's not the end of my testing. What I wanna do is really expose this tent to a high amount of rain. I wanna see the capabilities of this tent. Now, going back to the version of this tent that I purchased myself, I bought it off eBay, they claimed it was new. I got it, it appeared to be new. I took it out for a backpacking trip, and during a thunderstorm, it began to leak. A seam on the side of the tent leaked through the fly, and I was never able to pinpoint exactly where that spot was. So I seam sealed the entire seam on the outside, solved that issue, and it hasn't leaked since. As far as military tents go from around the world, in my opinion, this is one of the best ones. The design is the most civilian. It's very lightweight. The quality, for the most part, is very good. Having an issue with seam tape on the inside of a fly is going to be one of the most common issues, even with a good quality tent. Sometimes during the manufacturing process, mistakes happen. It happens. It's life, right? Ultimately, though, unless this tent has some glaring problem, I do recommend it. The quality is good. Even with the slight issue that I had with my model, you can find these in all sorts of colors and camos, two doors, two vestibules, easy setup, not super, super heavy, and that's important. The plan is to await the rain and the storms, which is coming in later on tonight. For now, I'm going to kick back, watch a movie, 310 to Yuma. It's not bad if you haven't seen it. I recommend it. Let's see how the night goes, everyone. This is test night with the Outdoor Gear Review. See you all soon. Good morning, everyone. 
It is about 6 a.m. right now, and it's raining pretty good outside. Everything looks good. It's been raining for about an hour. It's been steady. Not incredibly hard, but steady. So far, folks, all is good. Let's see if this trend continues. Bring you all back in just a bit. It's been a good night. It's been a wet night. As you all can hear, it's still raining. Again, not super, super heavy, but it's definitely raining. And so far, absolutely no leaks in this tent. Nothing at all. Everything's 100% dry here. So let's go over all the important aspects to this tent. When it comes to the setup process, it's very easy. It's very straightforward. You do not need instructions. Everything makes sense. You can do this very quickly. You know, during the day, at nighttime, it doesn't matter. It's an easy setup process. When it comes to airflow, it's actually very good. While this tent doesn't have any vents, the fly is high enough where you get good airflow coming from underneath it. At the same time, you have excellent waterproof protection with like the raised bathtub floor, so you don't have to worry about that higher fly and water coming in or anything like that. Compared to the Kelty one-man filled tent, this is way, way, way better as far as airflow and condensation control and whatnot. Now, my testing with this tent is not over. I am going to keep this tent out all day and just let it rain on it. And we will see together if there's any issues. All right, everyone, roughly 30 hours has passed since you all saw me last, and this tent has been out in the rain. Let's check it out on the inside and see if there were any leaks. And there is absolutely no water anywhere. Absolutely no leakage. Everything's dry, the floor is dry. Yeah, it looks good. For this episode of Test Night, that's pretty much it. The Light Fighter one-person tent has proved itself to be a waterproof tent. Now again, with the model that I purchased myself, I did have that slight issue. That's a common issue with just about any tent. There can be issues during the manufacturing process which affect the seam tape. And that is something that you will have to deal with on and off as you go through gear. Now with this model here, no issues. With my own, slight issue, easy fix. And I do have a video on that fix. And with that being said, my review of this tent is coming up very soon, so make sure to pay attention and watch that video. Hit the bell notification icon so you all will be alerted to when it goes live. If you have any questions, email me. Of course, make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about the Light Fighter one-person tent. Until next time, strength and honor, goodbye. Mm -hmm.